Today's Gridiron Gurus Tour Days, we're going to talk about Skowhegan High. Coming off a tough 1-7 season, but last year they were pretty young. They gained a lot of experience. They have a lot of guys back at key positions, including quarterback Ethan Johnson, who says he learned a lot just from playing a lot last year. Being comfortable with the offense, so the nerves get worked out as you, you come into preseason, you're not scared because you're a younger guy trying to lead, but it's much easier this year. Well, last year we were very young. Uh, we had a lot of kids uh, get some valuable experience, and uh, they worked pretty hard in the weight room in the off season, and we're hoping that uh, you know they can pay off and allow us maybe to contend for a playoff position. Also returning is junior running back Tyler Savage. Uh, Alex Baker is back on the uh, offensive line, as is Zach Witham and Justin Grant at tight end. So. They hope to maybe move the ball a little bit more this year in their double wing off. A lot of people have become more comfortable with uh, offense. Sometimes with the younger players, they have a lot of questions, a lot of people not knowing what they're doing. Um, see a lot of growth this year and just um, mental. A lot of mental focus this year, which we haven't had sometimes in the past. We have strong backs. A really, really good line. Everybody knows what they're doing. So, so we should be set with our offense. Defensively, the Indians are led by Jacob Weiss at one end and C.J. Crusa at the other. Uh, Chad Carroll, who transferred from Booth to Booth Bay as a sophomore, is back this year as a junior. He'll help out a linebacker. Uh, Johnson leads the secondary. So Scott Hagan hopes to tighten up a defense that really allowed a lot of points last year. Um, asking about the playoffs is probably a little much, but Scott Hagan should be improved this season.